crossroads in your life? Are you unsure in which direction you should be headed? Are you ready to embrace your spiritual growth and spread your wings in this lifetime to experience life full of abundance and joy? If this sounds like you, I welcome you to grab your pen, your paper, your coffee, and tune in to episode 36 of the Coffee and Confidence Show, how to transform your present to take control of your future. So welcome, welcome to the Coffee and Confidence Show. My name is Kelly Kerrigan and I'm the host of the Coffee and Confidence Show. I am an empowerment coach and my business is Empower Me Coaching. Me personally, I am helping sensitive souls establish healthy boundaries and communicate them from a place of love because I truly believe it is time right now more than ever for sensitive souls to embrace their sensitivity as their superpower to embrace their empathetic qualities because I truly believe that the world needs more heart. The heart, the world needs more you. So welcome to the show. I'm excited to introduce today's guest to you. Today I have Ray Kalman and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Ray and then I'm gonna bring her on. So Ray, she is helping those at a crossroads in their life. So. Who better to bring on today? Um, you know, she's helping them, helping those people in a crossroads um, to get clear on their destiny to, and then she's using the help of the angelic Reiki, future life progression, past life progression. She uses meditation techniques, hypnosis, and angel cards. So get ready for a spiritual experience today. So without further ado, I'm going to bring on Ray so that she can share a little bit more about herself. So welcome to the show, Ray. So glad to have you. Um, please share a little more about yourself. Brilliant. Well, thank, thank you for having me, Kelly. Um, okay. Um, well, I've, uh, as you can guess, I'm in the UK um, from, from my accent. Um, and basically, I've been involved in all things spiritual since since I was a kid. You know, my parents took me to spiritualist churches. So I've always had that spiritual background with me. But I've also kind of been quite a questioning, analytical minded person, you know, always looking for what's behind this? What's behind that? You know, does that really make sense? Does that make, doesn't make sense? So I've kind of like had a little bit of a challenge sometimes um, through through my life with that. Um, and the spiritual path has been really good in opening me up to going more with my intuition and looking for synchronicities that happen around me that, that lead me onto, onto various things. You know, I'm also a Wiccan, so I'm very much into paganism. And that marries quite well with the angels, which can seem a little bit strange because you think angels up here, paganism down here, but they do actually work quite well quite well together and I've been involved with or interested in angels since about 2000 before they became really big like like they are that they are today and that came about after a life-changing trip to Peru um, and then so obviously since then I've worked with angels and I and I learned angelic reiki which I've now become a practitioner of and I was finding when I was doing the angelic reiki a lot of the clients were, I was doing multidimensional healing and multidimensional healing is healing in past lives, future lives, um, other dimensions. And it kind of got me thinking, you know, is there a more of a scientific way around this as well? And I'd always been interested in hypnosis and past life regression. So I thought, you know, saying I'll study hypnosis um, and past life regression. But then I came across future life progression and it's like, oh, this looks very in interesting. And the more I looked into it, the more I was thinking, you know, this actually can work quite well because with the multidimensional healing, you know, the past life progression, I could take people back. And with the future life progression, I could take people forward. And I work very much in the present. And I find that when I take people back and I heal their past, or, or I should say they heal their past, they're then fully in the present because they're not worrying about their past anymore. And when I take them into the future, 
they see what their future is going to be, what's happening, and they come back to the present. And they're not worried anymore. So again, they're fully back in the present, not worrying their past, their future, going, yep, I know where I'm going. That, that's, my, that's my path. And that's how it's kind of like developed for me with my own journey through, through the years, through healing a lot of my past stuff and seeing my future and bringing me to where I am now today. Mm -hmm. So what has been, if you could just choose one, because I'm sure there's many, what has, what has, um, what's like the biggest impact that you've experienced in your life because of, you know, this work that you do? Um, Say one of the biggest advantages for you. One of the biggest advantages that I really don't worry about my future um, or what or what's go, or what's going on. It's kind of like I concentrate on every day with what I with you know with what I'm doing that day, knowing that I am actually going along the path I'm meant to be going along, and the synchronicities come in, and I'm always open to looking out for them to lead me to the next person to. Um, to the next course, to the next show, you know, and I just look for, for for different for different things. And I think because I have healed, I have worked on a lot of my past life stuff. I mean, I've been about since the beginning of time, and I still haven't got to the tip of the iceberg on my past lives. But I, but I've healed the most important ones that are affecting me now, and sort of like where I have gone and seen my future, and I know. That I've got no worries about where I'm going to be going. I am. I am now fully present, noticing what's going on, and just really living day day to day without any worries about the future at all. Mm -hmm. This is so interesting. There's so many interesting little nuggets that you mentioned there. So even like what I'm thinking about is people that you know could use your help. Um, you know, I'm thinking the benefits of living in the present moment. Mm. It, would you agree that it literally like wipes away anxiety? Oh, ab ab absolutely. Because if you're not worrying um, about the, the, the future, you're kind of like, okay, so I can just get on and live my life now, you know, enjoy, enjoy my, pre enjoy my present time, enjoy the people I'm with, you know, and, and just, and just be happy and, and at peace, basically. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the goosebumps listening to you speak because I personally know the benefits of living in the moment and, um, you know, just feeling connected, you know, feeling connected to the people you're with at the time. Right. Would you, yeah. you experience that yeah. as well? Yeah. 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 And, and, you, and you find when you're in the present, everyone you do connect with is it's more of a meaningful relationship because again, you're not worrying about, them what they're thinking what they're doing because because you you're, you're you're not worried you're not worried about what they think or they might not think because you're fully concentrated on yourself and being your own true person right so let i'm just jotting this down right now like so letting go of judgment is huge mm. as well absolutely all right well thank you so much for sharing that about yourself um, I'm excited to dive into the conversation, but first, because this is the Coffee and Confidence show, we're going to take a moment and do the whole piece of what is in your cup. So I'll get you to share first, Ray. What's in your cup? Okay. Well, I've got my Keep Calm and Ask an Angel mug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. That's amazing. Surprise, surprise. And I can't actually remember where I got where I got this mug. Where I got this mug from, obviously, because I've always been involved with uh, with angels. You know, people do tend to buy me bits with angels on. Right? So I can't. Really, I've had this cup for for, for many years, um, and inside my cup, I actually have herbal tea. Um, I haven't drunk. I, occasionally, I have a, a proper cup of British tea. <laughs> so I have, to, I have to make that British tea. Um, Rarely drink coffee, but I'm dairy intolerant, so I don't really have dairy. But I love herbal teas, um, and I've got a little um, little uh, pot where I can put my own herbs in and put the hot water on um, and, and drink those teas. Although this is a pucker love tea that I'm drinking today, so that's that's one of the uh, makes that's already because I, I like the love tea. Oh, that's amazing. That sounds lovely. Well, thank you for sharing. So in my cup today, I have my adventure is out there. Hey. 
Because I'm, I love adventure. And uh, I have, it's a big cup, as you could probably That's tell. a very big cup. You can get a lot of coffee in that. <laughs> well, it's a little deceiving. It's about <laughs> half coffee, half cashew milk. So um, I do love dairy in my coffee. However, I'm trying to get away from it. Mm. I'm trying to, um, you know, develop a love for this cashew milk. So I like put it in the frother and, uh, you know, add uh, a little maple syrup to it. And yeah, so it's really about half coffee, <laughs> half <laughs> cashew milk. So that is what is in my cup this morning. For anybody tuning in live, or if you're catching the replay, please share with us what is in your cup this morning. And please say hello, let us know where you're tuning in from. And you can ask questions, you know, share your comments, because the more involved you are in this conversation, the more you will benefit from it. So thank you so much for sharing what's in your cup, Ray. So today's show is how to transform your present to create your future. And why is transforming your present so important for creating your future? Okay. Um, if, because if you transform your, pre your present, then your future will actually come a bit quicker to you than you than you actually know. Um, say like, imagine if you knew five years ago what you knew now. You would so so five so you so five years ago you travel to your five years now, and you see where you are now with what you're doing, and you're thinking, do you know something? that um, I could have done this, I could have done that, I could not go into that relationship. So you communicate with your future self um, and, you, and you pick up the knowledge from, from that. So you would then take what you know now back five years to that five, to you five years ago. And you would say, actually, do you know something? What you should have done was this, this, this. And you go, actually, yeah, I'll do that. And then your five years is completely different to how you think it was going to be, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, so my mind works a little differently than yours. And my mind goes to, uh, you know, like this whole goal setting. And it's just like, you know, you go to the future to create that goal. And then you take those steps mm -hmm. back. And I think choices too are the choices that we make in the moment. You know, I always believe yeah. that we have a choice in every moment of what we say, how we, we react, what we do, what we say yes to, what we say no to. All of those things as well. Yeah, and and the thing with going in into um, your future is that you get the answer to those things. So you know what questions to ask. You know what paths to go down. You know what choices you have to make. And because you already know that, you're not worried when you suddenly get that option in front. You know those two options in front of you, thinking, "Oh my God, which one should I take?" Because you already know. And you know mm -hmm. which one is going to be is going to be if you, is going to be is better for you. So, you, so you've actually transformed your present at, at that moment in time because you know the path you're 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 going to go down. Mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yeah. So to me, that's like gaining clarity mm. about where you want to go. And when you yeah. are clear on where you want to go, it's easier to make those decisions in the moment. Yeah, ab absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, you know, earlier you mentioned, I wrote down actually, because you had mentioned and <laughs> you <laughs> mentioned, I wrote down being able to let go of judgment mm. right? by transforming your present. You're able to let go of judgment, which is huge. Um, it, I think so many people have that fear, that fear of being judged and they are, restraining themselves from they're feeling stuck because especially this fear can you speak on that yeah um ab absolutely yeah i'm i mean if it's it's i mean I, I sometimes get um people um that that come and see me or if i if i'm running afternoon tea with the angels or something like that and they'll go you know and they go oh it's brilliant i'm in this space because i can talk about angels and and things like this because I don't, you know, I don't want to talk about it to my family or to my work colleagues because they might think I'm strange or, you know, they might think I'm a, a, a little bit, you know, but with, with you, I can, it's kind of like, 
but you don't but you don't have to be you know i'm i get the point i will talk about angels to anybody who listens you, you know it doesn't matter who they are or what they what they're doing i'm quite happy talking about angels and i don't worry about how <laughs> they judge me on that you know if they think i'm mad that's absolutely fine you know if they think oh there's something in that again that's that's absolutely fine and because i i i've kind of like connected with that and i know that there are angels and i think that's the i think that's the big difference believing and knowing mm-hmm. if you know something then you have no um worries about what other people will, will, will think about you i mean i i don't really tend to use the word be like um, believe because in the middle of it is the word lie mm-hmm. and, and words have and words have quite a quite a, quite a big impact so when people go do you believe in angels or do you believe in future life progression? I go, no, I know, I know that there are angels. I know that future life progression works. I know past life regression works. It's worked for me. I've seen it work for other people. So when you know something and you're accepting of something, then it makes it a lot easier not to allow people to have judgments um, about you or you don't worry about what judgments people may, may have because you're your own individual. And, and when it comes down to it, we all are on our own individual path. You, you know, and it doesn't matter what anyone else says or do. If, if you're true to your path, they can't affect it the same way as you can't affect their path. If, if that's the path they've chosen, nothing you can say or do will, will change them in any way, shape or form. So, so other people really can't stop you from your path if you, if, if you don't allow them to to judge you or you're not what not not allowed you're not worried about them judging you because what do their opinions matter you know what yeah. you're doing you know where you're going you know what you're supposed to do so why worry mm-hmm. yeah that's great and I think um people that do worry is because they they don't have this sense of knowing and that's mm. exactly what you do right like you yeah. I'm looking at my notes here is that you help those people get clear on their destiny so that they can embrace their present mm-hmm. and be confident right see how i threw that in there confident yeah and confidence <laughs> It's brilliant. I like it. <laughs> right? To be confident in taking those steps forward because there's so many people in our world today who feel stuck, who feel, you know, unclear about their path forward. Um, so you talk about the future life progression, mm-hmm. how you can, you know, basically, if I'm saying this wrong, please correct me. But if you, you can bring people into their future, so that they can see and they can get a clear vision. Um, so what is the process of that? Can you bring us through that? Yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's, a really straight, it's a really straightforward thing. If you can meditate, um, then you can do future life progression. Um, I mean, everyone knows about hypnosis and going into that around theta state where you're fully present, um, but you're in your subconscious. So it's it's like um, if you drive your car from A to B and you get to B and you think, how on earth did I get here? I don't remember this journey in any way, shape or form, but you know that you would have stopped at traffic lights and given way, et cetera. And that's kind of like the theta state you get to in hypnosis. And it's very similar to future life progression. So it's kind of like future life progression is kind of like between meditation and hypnosis so 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 you go into a very nice relaxed state which allows your mind to actually or your your conscious mind to take a back seat and allow your subconscious to actually come into in in into its into its own because obviously our little conscious voice is always there going like that to us all the time but if you can get that nice and relaxed and you bring your subconscious forward then all the knowledge that you already know, be, because, you know, to, to my way of thinking, you, you come in with all the knowledge you know. It's just that we, as soon as we get into human form, we forget it, mm. you, you know. And, and I've, I've known when I've taken people back to past lives and I take them into that in-between life and you go to, you know, why were you, why did you choose to be born in the present? And they go, well, because of such and such and such and such. 
And then when they come back, it's like, well, why didn't I remember that? It's because you came into a human human body, you know, you came into a human body and you had all these influences around you that, that didn't that didn't allow you to um to to expand on that. So now I've got a train of thought. I always say I have a habit, I'm gonna go off on tangent and then I've got to come they've got to come back again. Um, I can totally relate. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like oh, I'll go off on that one and I and I come back to this one. Um so yeah so so we um so we so we get you into a very nice re- um, relaxed state um and then what we do is we take you on a journey and again it's like guided meditation which is a lot easier for people quite often than just normal meditation because with guided meditation it's giving that left side of your brain something to do so it's not focusing on what shopping what you're picking the kids up etc it's focus erin it's for always oh, going oh I'm, I'm i'm being told i'm going on a journey so it keeps that, that part of your brain occupied, which again allows your right brain, your subconscious to actually come in, into the thought. So you go on a journey, really nice journey to wherever it is that, that we may be going, because there are various um, things you can do with future life progression. You know, you can take somebody down um, into a room where, they've, where they can see five years into the future, but three possible scenarios. So you go five years into the future, if you continue on the path you're doing now, then you can come back. Then you go five years into the future to see, uh, because when you go to that first five years, you sort of like ask yourself, what could I have done differently? And then you bring that back. Then you go into the five years if you make those changes and you um, go, well, okay, I've made those changes and this is what my life is like now. And then you go five years into the future, your best possible five years in the future which may be nothing to do with either of those, those, those two things, but some completely different. And you speak to your future self and you find out what you did to get to that. You, you bring the energy back because you feel it, you really get into it and you, and you, bring, you bring the energy back. And that's one way of um, that into the future. You can do that for 10 years. You can even go into a future lifetime. So your next lifetime, um, wherever wherever that may be, you know, and that's brought up some really interesting um, things. You know, I'm not worried about planet Earth or the humans in any way, shape or form because of the experiences of people that have gone into future lives. Yes, we're slightly different, but we still exist and Earth still exists. So, you know, again, that's the thing I'm not worried about in the present. I'm not worried about about planet Earth, you know, so long as we do everything that that we can like and or we've seen that we can do. Then, then we've got no no worries uh, about it at all. But you can also use it for decision making as well. You know, imagine if you were lucky enough to get two marriage proposals. Just just say, you know, why you'd be dating two minutes <laughs> okay, later. Yeah. I have no idea, but you know, this, this sounds like a fun example. <laughs> yeah. So, so um, I don't know. Let's say um, so. So you go five years into the future if you marry Dave. And you see what your life is like in that five years in the future. You know, you may be happy, you may be sad five years. Who who knows? Anyway, you come back, you then go five years into the future with Bob, you know, and you see what your married life with Bob is like five years in the future. And then you come back. Now, you might have a a really good life with Dave, but not with Bob or vice versa. Or both might be mediocre. But then you can go five years into the future with your best possible partner. Now, it may be Dave, it may be Bob, or it may be someone you hadn't even thought of. Mm-hmm. You, you know, so, 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 so you go, actually, I'm not going to marry Dave, I'm not going to marry Bob, because I know there's this other guy that at some point is going to come into my life, and I'm going to be much better, much better off with him. You know, and students can use it as well to, you know, what should I study at college? You know, should I do this one? Should I do that one? And you can take them five years into the future, or ten years into the future. See if they took this, are they happy doing that? If not, what are they doing there? If not, not you, you know. And you can do. I mean, you can do loads of different um, subjects. It does, it does have to be three all the time. You know, it can be one. Mm-hmm. It can be. It 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 can, it can be many. So that's just one of the ways. You know, you can also see if you know if you're looking at selling your house. You know, how you know what is my my next house going to look like. And then you can you can see you can see see what it is, um, what it's what it's like. Well, how did I sell my house to get this? So you're given the answers. So you bring that back 
to the present and you go, okay, I make those changes now in my house. And you find that rather than being there in five years time, you actually get there a lot quicker. And, mm -hmm. and that's the beauty of future life progression because you go and experience it you can ask questions, you learn from it, and you bring all that energy back into the present, you actually get to those things a lot quicker than five years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really interesting. Oh, gosh, quite a few years ago now, maybe five or six years ago, um, I did an exercise. I guess it's somewhat along the same line, hmm. but not exactly, where, you know, I made a list of of all the things that I desired about where I wanted to live. And I was really descriptive and I would use like all of my senses, like what did I see? What did I smell? What did I hear? What, you know, what was that feeling? And I used all of those. And about two years ago, I found that list and I had just I put it away. It's in an old, you know, journal somewhere. Yeah. And when I looked at it, I was like, eyes were big. I was like, oh, my goodness, like every one of them, except one, because one of them was to live in a warm cli climate where I can <laughs> grow fresh food year round. <laughs> and that's not in Canada. <laughs> no. Maybe if I had like a greenhouse or something, you know. But anyways, yeah. it's really interesting is because like you said, I, you know, I had brought that into my awareness and just able to create it a whole lot faster. Mm. Yeah. And then and, and that's the thing when you when you experience and feel feel that that energy, because every, you know, everything is energy and, you know, there, there's science behind it. You know, everything is this form of energy. It's just that it vibrates on different dimensions. And if you can bring in that energy of the knowing, of the excitement, you know, of, of everything, then you, then, then you can create it. You know, we are here to create our most perfect futures. We just have to know that, that we can do it and tap into those energies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's absolutely amazing. I am a big energy girl. Like everything that I talk about, it revolves around energy and um, you know, the life that we have is what we create for ourselves. Hmm. And there's so many benefits to what you're talking about, right? To, um, you know, letting go of judgment, um, you know, experiencing no anxiety, no fear, being able to live in that present moment and connect with the, the souls, with the energy that you're meant to connect with in that present hmm. moment. So that's that's really amazing advice for people out there who feel that they're at a crossroads, they're unsure of their decisions of where to go. Um, mm. You know, it's just, you know, reaching out to people like you to help, um, you know, ignite that and help yeah. them create that for themselves. It's amazing. Yeah, and the thing is, it's it's, you know, every you know we we create our own so i don't create it for you you create mm -hmm. it yourself i'm just there to to guide you to get you on that path and then right. and you to go off and spread your wings and do what you're supposed to be doing mm -hmm. and and that you know not not for me to constantly be doing it for you it's like right i've given you these tools you know you're fully in the present go and spread your wings and do what you're supposed to be doing mm -hmm. yeah um, advice I give a lot is raise your vibration. Mm. Oh, most, most, <laughs> most definitely. Every, every, every morning um, before I get out of bed, I sit there and I center myself and I just literally fill my heart open by 200 plus percent, sending out mm -hmm. non judgmental, unconditional love to everyone and everything. And then just allowing myself to be in that energy as much as I possibly can during the day. Mm hmm. That's amazing. Um, you know, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge. Uh, I want to invite you to share with the viewers how people can get in touch with you. Um, okay, well, they can either find me on my Facebook page, Radiant Angel Energy, um, or via my website, www.radiantangelenergy.co.uk, where it's got everything that, um, that, that I do, that, that I offer. I also offer a free 20 to 30 minute um, online chat with people um, to see if I can help them transform their transform their destiny. 
um, before they commit to anything um, with me and I sort of like educate them a bit more on, 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 on what I do. Um, and, and that's um, just by, mess by messaging me via my Facebook page or my, on my website. So, yeah, they're probably the two best ways of people getting hold of me. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. And once we're done here, I welcome you to leave those links in the comments as well yeah. so people can find that pretty quickly. They've got easy access to it. Yeah, I'll do um, that. Yeah, well, that, that's great. That takes us to the end of episode 36 of the Coffee and Confidence Show. Thank you so much, Ray, for uh, being my guest. It's been a pleasure to get to know you, to learn about your work in a deeper way. And uh, I'm forever grateful to have, have you on the show. Oh, thank you so much for letting me talk about my passions. Yes, yes, absolutely. To spread your wings, right? Exactly. <laughs> Awesome. Well, um, I'm going to get you to stay online once we're done yep. and we'll chat for a few minutes. But for now, we're going to say bye to everybody. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you on episode 37 of the Coffee and Confidence Show. Bye. Bye.